call it. Some moving little photos you see everywhere. Um, all right, first off, we're gonna do. If you don't know how to open whatever the GIF, you would um, go to where you what file you put your GIF at. Um, which mine's in pictures. So right here, you would press right click it, open with, and then go to open Adobe Photoshop. So uh, then on from there, you go to your other photo, which is on my desktop. this open with Photoshop boom I'm gonna drag this right over here all right then first off we're gonna do um, click on this little thing make sure it's on create frame animation animation boom create frame anima ah, animation then what you want to do next go down to your gif part might go might be going a little bit too fast for y'all but go on your gif part GIF, GIF, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can sh click the last, the first one, shift, and click the last one. If you guys don't want to do that, you can um, see where is it. I don't know. But somehow click, select the frames, copy the frames, come over here, first one. What you want to do, when I click this, little four little lines in the bottom, paste frames. Make sure you're um, selected on paste over selection and link added layers. Go from there. Alright. The next step, what you want to do is this photo, their background right here, background right here. It's only on one particular photo. Here, let me just boom. It's on this photo. To get on all these, you're gonna want to go to the four lines and match layer across frames. Make sure all these are checked. Boom, going from there. And from there, you can click on if you did all this correct and you press did everything so far. You click on any one of these. Go to the moving object, move your photo, and you could uh, resize it. Boom. Just resize like this. And you can click on this one, get layer zero. Put your layer zero up here so you can see everything. Once you do that, it's kind of like bad quality right now. I'll zoom it up for you guys. Put the quality in that right now. Click the check mark. Boom, you got everything good. If you want to preview it, go for it. You can go into this little uh, pull down, whatever the joint is called, and then click on forever. Once you click on it, you can see the background's moving. And you have your still um still image right there. Now to actually like render and get the photo, you're gonna want to go to export and save for web legacy. If you're on Photoshop CS I don't know what CS I mean Photoshop this is, but then out from there you can change your image image size to whatever you like. Just go like this see the whole thing and you're gonna want to make sure looping options is on forever to um, take it off at once and go on forever and you're gonna want to save it desktop actually um, videos can make a new one a new folder give all right I'm gonna go into give folder and save then once that's done, you can go over here to your files, your videos, GIF. I'm not sure if this is gonna play. Oh yeah, it is. So thank you guys for watching. If this video helps you, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like it. Right now, it's my first time doing a video like this. Kind of messed up a little bit, but if you like this, comment down below tell me what you thought, what I should do better, and see you guys.